zoom annotation tool is one important tool that you can use when doing collaboration while doing a zoom meeting for me it is useful especially when i deal with my clients when they share screen i'm able to annotate and show them where they can do this and do that so that's why i find this function in zoom very important so in this video i am going to show you how you can enable the zoom annotation function and also a brief go through on how you can use it at your computer and also in your phone before that if you're new to this channel this channel talks a lot about digital marketing and entrepreneurship so if you're interested in these kind of topics do subscribe to this channel and also turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos now without further ado let me jump into my computer first and show you how you can enable zoom annotation function and then after that we can go through this function together so let's go now let us look at this zoom documentation so what is the prerequisite for screen annotation tools in virtual meetings now for this you need to have the annotation enabled inside your account by default it is enabled but in case something happens this is one way that you can do to enable it again i'm going to show you next you need to have a zoom desktop client and also need a zoom mobile app so this does not work when you're using a browser i tried using browser and it does not work you cannot annotate so for it to work you do need the desktop client and the mobile app not through browser so all right now let's go to zoom and enable it first you go to your account then you go to settings go for in meeting basics then you scroll till you found annotation you see it here by default it is on right if it's off just switch it back on so you, this is usually allow saving or shared if you want to for example you scribble and you want to save the annotation so this is how you can save it now you can have this also only the user who is sharing can annotate that means only the presenter can do the scribbling on the screen but i will prefer collaboration so we don't need this as well okay now next thing you need to do is other annotation it's good to have your whiteboard as well i'm going to show you the whiteboard feature as well so it's pretty cool now let me go to my zoom app i'm going to log in with a few accounts and you can see how does it look like when you're a host when you're host sharing or when someone else sharing and how you can annotate so give me a while let's go okay so now you see i'm logged into my zoom account so you can see there's three participants there's me as host right there's other computer and there's participants right as you can see here okay so now let me just go to share screen and at first i'm going to show you whiteboard okay then you can see this is the annotation tools that you can use um, you can see you can draw here draw here all right then you can uh, there's many ways you can draw you see they can draw squares uh, you can even do here right you can even change the color they're all here stamp stamp is pretty cool for example when you have something you want to like highlight and just put stamp you can even spotlight so you can explore all these things so this is quite nice uh, for example you want like people brainstorming right so you can just do it here you have multiple people filling up things it'll be quite interesting okay so this is on the whiteboard annotation on the whiteboard okay now let me just clear everything and let me just stop share so there's another way there's another thing that i usually use which is share your screen all right then uh, what you see in as a host will be different but when other people share where you find the annotation tool will be at a different location as well so let me just show you where to find when you're a host first so let me just share the screen i share the screen the screen too all right and now you see this is the whole screen so the annotate when you're a host i mean when you are the one sharing the screen is different from when people sharing all right so i'm going to show you first when i'm sharing the screen where the annotate button is so when you're sharing the screen the annotate button is here you can see the, the annotate is at the bottom here this is the menu that every time when we share screen it will appear so all you have to do is just click annotate then there's of course there's a multiple slashing and choose so you, the, by default is the pen which you can change the color as well right uh, and there's many things you can draw you can even draw circles you can even do stamp you can even do tick so for example you say this is a whole screen you just give it a tick just an example and um, eraser is to rub off whatever that you have done 
undo is obviously to undo whatever they have done previously uh, clear is clear all the drawings and when you put save it's literally just save whatever that you have been annotated here all right and when you just click mouse then you can go back to here then you can just uh, do normal thing you could do in the screen right with all the exact with all the annotations still on the screen so this could be quite um, quite disturbing if, if you don't know how to clear it right one thing good about when you're sharing if you want to clear all you have to do is just go to clear and clear other clear all drawings my drawings viewer drawings so it, it this is this option is only available when you are the one that is sharing right if you're not the one that's sharing you can only clear all drawings and uh, i think clear my drawings right so let's just clear all drawings so yeah so now let's go into seeing how it will look like uh, when you when someone share the screen and you want to annotate okay let's go so i'm going to use this computer to share the screen and i'm going to show you where you can find the annotate button okay right, enable sharing first okay so now you can see this is the other computer this is not i don't have the annotate tool here as you can see there's none here so what you can do you go to view options and you can see the annotate here all right then when you click annotate then you can continue annotate okay and you stamp for example stamp 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 let me show you for example if the host annotate so I not stamp so for example i stamp some love so this is not done by me this is done by another computer and when you scroll there you can see who actually annotate this so the difference between you sharing and the difference between somebody else sharing is that one is at the bottom you can find the annotate somewhere here in the main menu the other one you have to go to view options then you click annotate so it's a bit different here all right this is again this is useful for example somebody's clicking here and there right you want to say you know uh, for example just click here please go to draw right then they they will go to draw for example so this is how i usually use to direct my customers and it's, it's quite interesting as well all right so now this is uh, exactly how it looks like between uh, you as a host doing the sharing and someone else share okay now i'm going to show you in the phone so phone you can see quite clearly as well and it's pretty good as well so let's jump into my phone all right so this is where we left off just now as you can see you can see the screen pretty clear so when you turn left you get to speak if you want to speak then when you keep right you can see the participants all right now this is an android phone iphone will look different I think it's, it will be similar user interface. Now to annotate, all you need to do is just click on this pen icon, click on it at the left, bottom left, and you can see all the, the things here that's to annotate. You can see the function is a little bit less compared to computer, but you can still do the annotation, just that it's not you know as good as computer one. So you can put like arrow, for example, you can just point, point, point. Point. So you can see the arrow. You can do pen as well. You can just write something, you know. You can even have eraser, just erase. And you can save. Save. Uh, I, I miss it in the computer as well. There's option to save. When you save, you get to save the annotation that's being done. Right? So that's pretty cool. Now, let's share the screen in mobile instead and see how you can annotate. Alright? Now, let me just stop the share from my computer. Alright, now let me share my phone screen instead and see whether other people can annotate. So, let me just share the screen. You can go all the way, share screen. Nice. Start now. Alright, this screen is being shared right now. So, let me see whether they can annotate or not. Alright, uh, now when I go to my computer, I still cannot see the annotate button. But what you need to do first, you need to enable an annotate. So you just you see that small little arrow at the bottom left. When you click on it, you come out. Then you click annotate. So you can draw a pen, you know, and you can spotlight. You know, just to show it, you know. So yeah, there's not much you can do also, right? But let's see other people whether they can annotate or not. 
So we have your options. Now I get to annotate. You see? There's somebody else annotating. Yeah. So with this, you can collaborate in many, many different ways. All right. And it's pretty cool. Okay. So give it a try. Use it. You can use it with your computer and your phone. And I hope this is useful for you. Thank you. If you like what I share, do give me a like or a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to this channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button and subscribe right now. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye.